work on this steering wheel because I'm pretty excited about it. Let's see what we got here. So the steering wheel is this Dragon Fire steering wheel. I found it on, on Summit. It's a six bolt pattern. I looked for a long time to try and figure out what was a good way that I could get decent parts um, and not spend a crazy amount of money. So this, this isn't like one of your big brand name steering wheels that costs a few hundred dollars. This one was less than a hundred bucks. It's uh, wrapped in, um, so it's, la it's wrapped in suede. It's got this red center thing. So, and it's pretty light. So it feels, it feels really good. It feels like decent quality. Uh, six bolt pattern is not all that common though. So, you know, I looked at all the different bolt patterns and the different um, quick disconnects, you know, quick disconnects and adapters and everything else. And this is the best thing that I could come up with. And this is actually a really nice piece. This one's about a hundred bucks. Um, it's an I did it performance made in the USA meets SFI specs. I mean, this is a seriously nice piece. Look at that. So this is a well done though. So um, first off, I'm just going to get the uh, steering wheel bolted to this just to see what it looks like because it's going to be sweet. Okay, that's it. So reach in there and grab it like that or like this. And it should come right off. So let's take this over to the car and see, see how it looks and fits. Oh, in case you guys were wondering, the I did it number right there. Six bolt, three quarter smooth kit. I don't know. I ordered it regardless of the diameter of this shaft. So I knew, pretty much knew that, yeah, this uh, shaft is a little bit smaller than our three quarter. So here's what I've come up with so far. It's coming out of the steering wheel is tapered shaft. And this is actually, I liberated this from the steering wheel. So I cut this out. This was in here. And I cut the aluminum off around it. So this is what goes onto the steering wheel. And so if I can make this fit inside of here, oh, it is not going to fit inside of there. Okay, so I might have to do it like so. <sighs> yeah, that, that's fine actually. Wait, then how am I gonna? All right, I gotta look at this more. So here's what I got. I bored this out to five eighths. I'm using these two nuts to space it up. And then I turned this down to five eighths as well. Not five eighths, seven eighths. I bored, I bored this to seven eighths and turned that down to seven eighths. And I'm using these two nuts as like a spacer. So I need to get in here with the TIG and weld this. And be very careful, I'll, you know. If I do mess up, I can just clean it up with a little grinder or something, but I'm gonna hook up the TIG. Alright, so now I'm gonna clean that up. But then I'm also going to punch a couple holes in the side here to make sure that it's 100% retained in there. Now, basically what I've done is made this a bolt-on. So let's see 
What did I do with that bolt? Let's see if this nut will fit inside here. I guess I didn't check that. But my plan was to, oh yeah. Yeah, so this nut now fits in there. That bolts the steering wheel on, or bolts this collar on. And then we put our steering wheel on. Just turn this sucker into a bolt-on application. All right, just went and had lunch. Let this thing cool. Oh man, I got 9% battery. Gotta change the battery out on this thing. Okay, so hopefully this socket fits in here. It does not, great. How am I actually gonna tighten this thing if the damn socket won't fit in there? What did I just do with that bolt? There it is. Woo, that's hot. Okay. We gotta cool that off. Yikes. Woo. Get the air blower out. Cool this bolt off. All right, so. I started to actually turn down an old 17 millimeter socket that I had. Then I had an epiphany. I mean, I could have used any kind of spacer, but I just decided to weld two of these nuts together since I had two of them. You can see that. So now it sticks out far enough to get a, to get a rinse on it. I didn't want anything weird to happen or this to get stuck on here, so I just welded the points basically where come together. And then, yep. All right, that bolt is hot. Might have to get something with quicker steering. Yep, it's locked in there. Let's set you up here. So we can get some other video. Yep. And then we want to take it off. I'm telling you guys, that thing is so sweet, so smooth. And this wheel is not bad either. I like it. It feels good. I don't know. You know, time will tell. If you know if it's good quality, it seems good quality. Yeah. Solid, and then all you gotta do is whoop. All right, that's enough of that. Now well, we gotta get back to these engine mounts. I just couldn't help myself getting that steering wheel on there. So, super excited about it. We got seats and a steering wheel now. I still need to do belts. I haven't even bought those yet. So, okay. Uh, the engine is in here under its own weight. We have the suspension back hooked up cross member. So now I've got these two mounts here. This is the body side mount. And this is on the firewall in between the engine and the seats. And this is the, actually this is mounted to the transmission. So engine transmission side mount. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna cut off the parts that I don't want. And let's see if we can make them work. This mount is going to be a heck of a lot simpler than the first one, mainly because I had both of these plates here already. And then, so what I did was I bolted both plates in there, one to the firewall, one to the transmission, and then I just found this piece of tubing, tacked it in there, and now we know that these are, you know, fixed in relation to each other. So I can start building off of here, but I need to maintain. Uh, the ability to cut this out at some point. So I need to get at least one side in and then be able to cut it out. So I'm probably gonna start with this side over here, and build it down.
is done. So this is the second one. Man, this took me a lot longer than I thought it would. So there it is, it's got some speed holes in it. You know, it's just making all the pieces, you know, I had to make, make this piece, make this piece, make this piece, notch them, grind them. Well, it's an amazing amount of welding actually. When you actually look at it, how much, how much, how many like inches of weld are on here, it takes a while. So it's done. I'm gonna throw some paint on it, and then I am headed in for the night. Good morning, everybody. Uh, first thing we're gonna do today is get this mount installed. I painted it last night. It is dry. It's time to put the sucker in. There's our firewall side there, so I'm just slide this guy up in here. It goes like this. Hoping that it just slides in. So far, so good. Now, I left the... Here's the, the engine side, or the transmission side. Uh, easy to start this one. I left the top open. So that I could get to this one. That seems to have worked. There we go. Got that one started. That's pretty good. All four of them. For all the bolts started. So let's see if we can zip some of them down. Oh. All right, well that wasn't too bad. That one's bolted in. I call that a success. Let's see. Now we need to do this front. This front one, a rear one, I guess. This is the rear. Uh, let's see if we can get it out. All right, here is this mount. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, the lighting is terrible right there because I'm in the shadow. Um, anyways, so I'm going to take, and I'm just going to cut this across kind of right here. Uh, I got to make sure I miss all the bolt heads. So I'm going to be leaving a, a stub on there a little bit. And then this one, not 100% sure where I'm going to cut this one yet. So maybe we'll get this one in there and... We'll look at this and see where we want to cut it to make it work. But for now, we got to cut that rubber part of the mouth off for sure. All right, here it is. Got a couple of speed holes in it. One big one there, because that's where I'm going to put my socket through. Just to make it easier to tighten this thing down. So, yeah, not the prettiest one, but definitely will get the job done. So now we're down to one more. I'm gonna wait for this thing to dry a little bit then I'm gonna throw it in there and We'll start work on this one All right, so here we are That's the newest mount installed um, There's the other one and this is our last one that we have to do I already took the bracket off um, and cut the mount off and then sandblasted it because it had this powder coating all over it. So, um, it looks like all I really need to do here is uh, build a couple tabs right here. From here to here. Whoop. Right here. And then we'll have to box them in maybe like all the way around or something. And I'll probably make it out of like quarter inch because this is you know there's not a lot of extra support built into here so we'll try to give as much support as possible but basically i need to start off by just making those two tabs <laughs> All right, well, yuck, porosity. 
I noticed I was having a little bit of issues with the welder getting some porosity which is where it kind of like you weld it but then you see it kind of bubbles um, and I looked at my tanks and I it still had pressure but it was definitely running out so now uh, it's Friday night so uh, I did go to the gas store today and I got argon for the TIG machine so I guess if we're gonna be doing any welding it's gonna be TIG this weekend so that'll be fun thing is hot 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 I think I'm gonna grind on it still a little bit of cleanup on it Whoop. yeah I'm gonna paint this thing Give her an old fogging fogger with some paint. All right, so it's been a long, I think I've been working on these mounts for three days, along with the steering column. Anyway, it's done. It's hanging in there. It's been hanging in there under its own weight for a while, but all four mounts are in. They came out pretty good, I think. Let me grab a light. I mean, it's kind of crude the way I did them, you know, but they're going to be strong. You know, they didn't take a lot of materials to make. So, I mean, most of it was just made with scrap laying around. And this one, this one came out pretty dang good, I think. So, yeah. That's it for this for now. I think I've got, oh yeah. Screen protector's got a big old crack in it. Let's see if we can peel that off. Hmm. That's cool. Sure is. It's not lame. Hmm. That is a quality piece there. Jeez. Oh. All right. So I don't know if that's any better, but um, yeah, screen protector's got like some weld spatter on it. It's got a big crack running through it. The back one is just completely shattered. So. Got to get new screen protectors on this thing, but yeah, that's it for this for now. Uh, my buddy Kenny's on his way up here with, down here, with his MR2 Spider, and we're going to work on that, but he's bringing my wheels and tires, so as soon as he gets here, we're going to put the wheels and tires on this thing. I'm super excited. All right, it's the moment of truth. Kenny's here. He's got the wheels and tires. Up with the jack. Up, 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 up. <sighs> Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's good. That's <laughs> it's so cool how these tires are shaped because they're because <laughs> they're UTV tires. Yeah, so they're, so they're round. They're yeah, plus flat. the plus the wheel's pretty wide. Yeah, too. Like yeah. they call this a nine five, but just look, I mean the tire is an eight. Yeah. So where is it nine five in the sidewall? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but they look rad. They look awesome. Okay, where's the camera? Oh, all right. It's on there. Set it down. Let's see how how much rubbish turned. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, they moved back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it squatted. Wow. <laughs> oh, the camber. <laughs> I'm missing the bolt. 
Oh no. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go back up. I don't have the bolt. It's pretty bolt in there. Okay. Yeah, go back up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. It is a 2GR SW. It has no brakes. Whatsoever. No brakes. No D brake. No work. The back pads are in there. Oh, no. no. No, do it. <laughs> they roll pretty easy. Yeah, it does. It should. All right, everybody, that's going to be it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm super excited about this project. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.